As some of you may be aware, I don't only just like anime, but I am a PC gamer, and a lot of people that I associate with are also PC gamers. Not so many people like anime, but I think that's all up to personal preference, as is PC gaming. A lot of the games that I do happen to play on PC are usually anime games, with the exception of maybe a few different shooters like PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds or the occasional Call of Duty, if you ever want to torment yourself that way on PC. Recently, a game came out on Steam called Valkyrie Drive Bakuni, which was originally a PlayStation Vita game that's since been ported over, and I've actually been playing it a little bit, and I do enjoy it. It's by the same creators of the Samurai Kagura series, but this one has a little bit more of a Yuri taste about it. But by now, you're probably wondering, why in the world did you make a video about Valkyrie Drive when we could just look it up anyways? Well, this is the tweet that broke the camel's back. And honestly, it made me more upset than anything else. But you're probably wondering, why am I even upset about this in the first place? It's just somebody's opinion on the internet. Well, I don't exactly like being called a pedophile when I just want to play a game that's fun. And I probably wouldn't have been that upset either. Until I saw that the story was written by none other than Jed Whittaker. And if you don't know who Jed Whittaker is, then I'll be your guide to the internet today. I won't bore you to death with a lot of the things that Jed Whittaker does, even if he plays Plants vs. Zombies and says a lot of uncomfortable things in it. And it's a video that's here on YouTube, and you can check it out. It's probably best you search Plants vs. Zombies and Jed Whittaker all in the same sentence. Or the fact that he says that he got triggered by teabagging because he played Call of Duty. And I honestly don't even think he's done that because it was from an ad campaign that they had for Call of Duty Ghost. One of the field order missions was to uh, humiliate an enemy, which essentially meant teabagging them. And if you want more info on that and why video games need safe spaces by the same Jed Whitaker, Rags has a video on that, which I will link in the description below. But for now, I think we'll just stick to the article at hand where he says that Valkyrie Drive is perverted garbage. And I also like the fact that he tried to change it when he said that someone complained that we shouldn't call them pedophiles for buying games with childlike panty upskirts. So I changed it to aspiring pedophiles. You know, for nuance. Follow your dreams. Is he for real with this shit? I shouldn't be the only one that's even angry at what he said. I think everybody should be. Because if they like playing a particular game, why all of a sudden are they aspiring pedophiles? Why is everything perverted garbage that he doesn't agree with? Oh, I forgot. I, I honestly forgot. He's a social justice warrior. That's why. Besides that, he says, Another day, another shitty port of a Vita booby game releasing on Steam. And wouldn't you know, it's buggy as hell. Heck, it wasn't all that great to begin with, according to CJ's review of the original release, which I more or less agree with, at least negativity-wise. He continues, For those unfamiliar, this is a game by the Senran Kagura producer, another popular booby game series, only instead of being a fighting game, this is more of a button-mashing beat-em-up, similar to the Warrior series. Spoilers, you never get to see tits because I guess Japanese developers like teasing or at the very least frown upon child nudity. Can't blame them. Most people do. There are robots that grab boobs and incestuous kissing, however. You know what, Jed Whitaker? You're right. There are robots that grab boobs in that game. In fact, it's used more of a progression tool than it is anything else. So I guess if you want to throw that in there for some reason. And the incestuous kissing that you're talking about... That's pretty much something that the characters in Valkyrie Drive Media is known for. That's what they do. It's pretty much what the game consists of. So if you knew this going in, or if you did any research as someone that writes stories on the internet, you would have known this by now. And while we're on the topic of not researching anything before you write a story on it, a great Twitter profile by the name of Censored Gaming they also have a YouTube channel, and I highly recommend you check it out if you're curious about what is actually being censored in games outside of their original country, mainly Japan, 
which I see is most of the issue, but even they had a response to Jed Whitaker, well, mainly Destructoid, seeing as that's the company that employs him, and they quoted the part of the article that says, you never get to see tits because I guess Japanese developers like teasing, or at the very least frown upon child nudity, can't blame them, most people do. And to which they replied, actually Destructoid, the Japanese zero rating system doesn't allow breast nipples to be shown, and this has been the case for a long time. I'm surprised more industry professionals aren't aware of this by now with all the big AAA games censored in Japan. Jed Whitaker, you got schooled by people that make a YouTube channel off of what games are censored from. That's how bad at your job of being a journalist you are. Let us continue. He says, instead of going in depth and reiterating things already said in our Vita review, I'll just give you a quick breakdown. You can play as a selection of big and identically titty teens sent to an island to cure them of a virus that makes them turn into weapons. During battles, which are button mash fest, consisting of the same few combos that every character does, sometimes their clothes rip while they look into the camera in horror, which is a more than a bit rapey. Are you fucking serious? Rapey? Eventually, the girls are fighting in just their panties because, of course, they are. Jed Whitaker, I don't think you've ever played a game ever before. I don't think you've ever played a game where battle armor or any other article of clothing is ripped whenever you take damage from another enemy. I don't think you've ever experienced those games. Because if you have, there is no way that you're putting this in a review for anything. Don't worry, guys. We're going to make it through the cancer together. But he continues, There's some kind of shallow relationship sim buried in here that consists of running past characters and collecting their piss yellow hearts over and over between stages. D is the color yellow absent? Are we just... It, it, can we not call it piss yellow? Can we not? Can we not? Doing this enough eventually unlocks special conversations, most of which have nothing to say, like most of the game, but I'll get to that, or just over-the-top stupid conversations about pubic hair color and boobs, which are neither funny nor sexy. There are real-time conversations between the repetitive story stages, during which the girls' boobs jiggle crazily every time they move. I mean, these things look like water balloons floating in space, even fully clothed. It just looks awkward. Jed, I would say let's talk man to man, but you're not a man at this point. I don't think that there's ever been anything manly about you. I mean, they're girls and they have over the top boobs and they jiggle like crazy. That's the point of the joke. The joke is that they have big boobs and they just move around like that. I mean, I know that you probably do not stare at women this way, and that's perfectly fine. But don't sit here and say these things about how they just look like water balloons floating in space and how awkward it is. It's not awkward. It's supposed to be funny, and I think you lack a funny bone in your body. I mean, you, you, can't, you can't be this way. There's no human that's devoid of this much interaction with humans that they say these things, especially on the internet. I'm already starting to get a headache, so we still got this in one other part. He says, I didn't take in much of the story, mostly because I've never played a game with so much dialogue that does little to nothing but artificially extends a game that is already too long for its own good. Who are you to judge? how long this game is supposed to be. The game itself isn't supposed to be that long to begin with, but th that's a whole other tangent. I'm not doing it today. Characters literally discuss what food they would like to eat and the weather or randomly talk about groping each other out of the blue for seemingly no reason. Jed, they're girls, and they're on an island. This is fictional. They will do these things. After around two levels worth of these scenes, I started to skip them all. 
But the very end, no regrets. Jed, I'm glad you skipped through the rest of the game because you probably had saved me the brain cells from having to hear you talk about how terrible every scene afterwards was. I think it's a blessing in disguise. I guess I should start looking at the bright side. I mean, at least he does talk about some of the technical issues, which he says, port-wise, the game runs smooth and doesn't appear to drop any frames, even during boss fights, which are in contrast to the Vita version. But for stable frame rate, you're basically trading stability in for headaches. In my time with the game, I experienced various crashes, the game refusing to recognize the controller I'd been using, the audio cutting out, and eventually the game refusing to work while my controller was plugged in. This is why I didn't bother with the online modes or any other supplementary modes. I don't have enough time or patience to deal with bugs on good games, let alone ones I loathe. Ah, so it looks like I got a tweet in the middle of me recording. That's fine, it was all from Twitter. It's, it's something really close to this. I'll say that much. But while we're talking about it, you can follow me on Twitter and it's at necro underscore 13. And you can leave me comments there too. But back to this. He says, not only is this game buggy as hell, but it offers nothing of value whatsoever. All the characters look nearly identical aside from one or two. The boob physics are awful. The combat is repetitive and there is little to no variety. Hell, even across the tons and tons of underwear I unlocked, most were just reskins. If you're looking for fun gameplay or anime girl tits, you're better off looking elsewhere. Jed, there was no way after the slandering you just gave this game, I would ever believe you about looking somewhere else for a game to play. I would never look anywhere else. The reason being is because you're a liar for one, and two, I find the gameplay to be fun. I haven't really gotten it down, so of course it's still a little new to me, but in essence it's just like the Sandman Kagura games. As far as anime girl tits, I mean, they're a dime a dozen on the internet. Do I, do I really need to look somewhere else if it's everywhere? Also, the boob physics are awful? The boob physics, as I said before, are the staple of the series. It's a joke. And I don't think you get that. The combat is repetitive until you level up. Because then you learn more combos. Then everything becomes easier. The variety doesn't really matter if the game is a beat-em-up game. If it were an RPG or if it were a shooter game, variety is key. But in this game, I guess maybe I don't see the appeal of having a ton of it. Especially if I'm fighting groups of enemies and then I move forward. It doesn't make sense to me. And as far as the characters go, I will probably say that they kind of do look identical from maybe a menu screen. But when you actually play the game, they all are different. They dress differently, they talk differently, and they act differently. That's what makes a character. Even in my latest review of Princess Principal, they all have things about their past that they have about them and that's what makes them great characters they had something happen in the past and they're going to bring it to light i i hope and that's what they do is act off of what has happened before they do everything based on their own volition that's what a character is about in this game because i haven't finished it yet i can go ahead and just assure you that everything they do is for the purpose. And you even said it in this review that they're trying to get rid of this curse that turns them into weapons. What's what's awful about that? I mean, now at this point, I'm just ranting, but you can't make this review and think that it's okay to say bad things because you think it's perverted garbage. I mean, that's all subjective, especially since you're a social justice warrior who truly believes that that there needs to be trigger warnings for your own post and that teabagging should be eliminated from everything. First of all, it's not going to happen because teabagging is essentially just something that it originated way back in the day before I even was aware of it. 
but you're not going to be able to take out crouching animations. I mean, the most recent example is when Overwatch did it. They pretty much slowed down crouching because they knew that people were using it for teabagging. That's fine, but there's no way to eliminate a crouch movement other than to stop movement after the game is over or after you kill someone. But then that ruins the game and the experience for everyone. But that's a different topic for a completely different day. As far as Valkyrie Drive is concerned, if you are on the fence about buying it or any game that's like it, YouTube has a plethora of different videos made by people that showcase what the game has in it, people's walkthroughs and tips and tricks and things of that nature. And then you can get a grasp on the game itself before you just throw money at the screen like I did. And I'm not even upset with my purchase because I actually enjoy the game. And I'm not going to be up on this pedestal and call other people pedophiles or, you know, just call them perverted garbage, even if it's about a game. Just play the games that you want to play. That's why Dead or Alive Extreme 3 never came stateside is because the company behind it, Team Ninja, came out with a statement saying, Do you know many issues happening in video game industry with regard to how to treat female in video game industry? We do not want to talk those things here, but certainly we have gone through in the last year or two to come to our decision. Thank you. That's part of the reason I went to San Rancagra in the first place was because they weren't afraid to release their game even if they were going to be called sexist or misogynistic for releasing a game with girls that had big boobs while fighting in bikinis on a beach. They're ninjas. That's what they're going to do, and it's a part of the story. Even before the game launched, they had a special OVA where they showed what was happening before the events of the game. But for someone like Jed Whitaker to say that this game is perverted garbage, especially when he doesn't even care about it and he's a social justice warrior with only one view on the topic, it makes it hard for anybody that ever does take him seriously to be, oh, well, he didn't really mean it that way. Oh, I guess I will stay away from this game. The Japanese are weird. And that's fucked up in a million ways. Why is he turning away an audience? But as with Luis Mensch, don't find Jed on Twitter or on YouTube or Destructoid or anything like that and troll his channel or do anything negative towards him because that's what people like him want is to see the worst in people. He thinks that people are the worst and that's why he makes these articles to draw them out. But this has been, <sighs> this has been a long video. It's longer than I wanted it to be. But... As always, if you do like the content, then feel free to give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe if you want more of these types of videos or even just the dumb Overwatch ones I do. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Go out and buy Valkyrie Drive if you've already been interested in it. And I will see you guys on Steam.